Hi there, thanks for joining us tonight. Well, a recent contest making the rounds on social media is causing quite a stir. A hockey website published the results of a contest called The Ugliest Montreal Canadian's Girlfriend. As Felicia Perillo tells us, some people in Montreal are outraged. They call themselves the black sheep of hockey, and they have a pretty solid following. With over 100,000 likes on Facebook, their articles have a wide audience. And it's this post that's creating a whole lot of buzz. Published on Wednesday, the headline reads, According to you, this is the ugliest girlfriend among the players of the Montreal Canadiens. The post attracted comments almost instantly. One person writes, This woman should sue you. While another wrote, I can't believe in 2016, appearance is still something we're talking about this much. Personal stylist Carolyn Alexander says image and self-esteem go hand in hand. She calls the post appalling. I was horrified to see that article. I think it's a, it's a terrible question to be put to the public. According to her, the article completely objectifies women. It's erasing all of these important markers of their identity or who they are and just looking at them as objects. On top of that, cybersecurity expert Terry Cutler says the article is flat out cyberbullying. What they don't realize, the people who post this stuff, is that the internet never forgets. So it's online forever. So they can be bullied for long periods of time. You know, sick, you know, sort of random strangers can be posted, can be walking by and saying, hey, you're the worst looking girlfriend. Cutler says he usually sees this type of bullying from anonymous internet users. I mean, these guys apparently are getting like over 20,000 views per day, unique visitors a day. So with that kind of traffic, they should be keeping it classy. Global News reached out to Hockey Trent for comment on the article, but have yet to hear back. As for the Montreal Canadiens, a spokesperson says they refuse to comment on these types of articles. Felicia Perillo, Global News, Montreal.